Welcome to this presentation on the Intoxilock Ignition Interlock Device. An industry leader, the Intoxilock is unsurpassed in its ease of use and its accuracy and reliability. In addition, you will be covered by a dedicated customer service team available to answer any questions you may have. To begin, your vehicle is, or will be, equipped with the Consumer Safety Technology Incorporated Intoxilock. This device requires the driver to submit a breath sample for analysis prior to engaging the ignition and starting the vehicle. This sample is examined for alcohol content and a reading is then displayed on the front of the Intoxilock. Please watch this video and read all instructions prior to operating the Intoxilock. This is the Intoxilock, sometimes described as the handheld or the unit. On the top of the Intoxilock is the removable mouthpiece. This is where users will blow to submit breath samples. The LED screen on the front of the unit is where warnings and other instructions are displayed for the user. The Intoxilock unit is turned on using the activation button on the front of the handheld. At the bottom of the unit is the DB9 connection or computer plug-in. Please note, do not ever disconnect the Intoxilock at any time unless directly instructed to do so by a customer service representative. Please see your user's manual for a complete glossary of terms and common questions and answers. When you are ready to operate your vehicle, enter and fasten your seatbelt. Do not put your keys in the ignition yet. Press the activation button located on the front of the Intoxilock. You should see a series of messages similar to the following on the LED screen. The Intoxilock is now preparing the unit to accept a breath sample. This process should take approximately six seconds. Please note, it is recommended that the prospective driver not eat or drink anything other than water 15 to 20 minutes prior to attempting to start their vehicle. Further precautions include drinking a glass of water and taking several full and deep breaths just before submitting the breath sample. After the clearing procedure is complete, the following message will appear on the illuminated panel. At this point, the driver should now submit a breath sample into the mouthpiece. There are two methods for delivering a breath sample. Please refer to your user's manual to determine which sampling method is required in your state. The handheld unit will beep when in use. You can use the beeps as a guide while delivering a breath sample. The straight blow technique requires between five and six beeps of a forceful deep breath to constitute a valid sample. The blow inhale blow method requires three to four beeps of a forceful deep breath, followed by approximately two beeps of an inhaling action on the mouthpiece, with another two to three beeps forceful blow after that. It may take a few attempts to become accustomed to the sample delivery pattern. After several tries, you should become more comfortable with the method and it will be easier to deliver a sufficient sample. If a proper breath sample is not delivered, the LED will display one or more messages similar to the following. New users will sometimes experience this failure message until they become accustomed to the use of the device. Please see your user's manual for specific instructions regarding your state. At this point, the device will turn off and the driver will be required to press the activation button again to reactivate it. The blow message will then appear and the driver must try again until a proper breath sample is submitted for evaluation. When the proper sample is obtained, the device will beat twice and the driver will hear and feel a short buzzing tone. This is the micro pump taking a sample of the breath specimen. The device should then display the actual blood alcohol content of the prospective driver. Please note, in some states, the Intoxilock will only display the words as per state regulations. Refer to your user's manual for more information.
If the breath alcohol content equals or exceeds the pre-programmed limits, the ignition will not engage and the driver must wait for the device to clear before a retest can be initiated. If the breath alcohol content is below that limit, the driver will be able to start the vehicle after the LED display reads, Passed. Start car. At this point, a short countdown will begin. The vehicle must be started before the countdown reaches zero or the unit will reset again, requiring another breath sample. State regulations require drivers to periodically submit to a retest while operating the vehicle to ensure that the driver's alcohol level remains below the preset breath alcohol content limit. Shortly after successfully starting the vehicle, the Intoxilock LED display will alert the driver that a retest is required. This is called a rolling retest. These messages will appear on the LED screen. The procedure from this point is the same as when initially starting the vehicle. If the breath alcohol content is below the state limit, the device will allow the driver to continue driving as normal. If the breath alcohol content is equal to or above the limit, or if the driver misses or refuses to take the retest, the device will consider this a failed rolling retest. This is considered a lockout in most states and the information will be logged to the memory of the device and the driver will be instructed to service the unit within a set number of days. The number of days until the service deadline will appear on the LED screen only if the rolling retest was failed with a high breath alcohol content, refused or missed. Please refer to your user's manual for the specific number of days your unit will display per your state's requirements. The Intoxilock will also activate the vehicle's horn in most states. The horn will sound not only when a rolling retest is failed, but also when one is missed or ignored after several requests. Again, the horn will not honk in all states. Refer to your user's manual for more information on your state's requirements. Drivers have a limited amount of time with which to take a rolling retest. It is advised that the driver take the rolling retest in a safe, reasonable, and timely manner. After the first rolling retest is completed, the Intoxilock will require additional tests randomly, but not less than one per hour. Again, the proper breath sample must be provided as shown previously. In the event of a failed rolling retest, once the service message appears on the LED screen, we must be contacted immediately. When you arrive at your destination, park the vehicle and turn off the ignition. Remove the keys from the ignition. At this point, the Intoxilock will no longer be receiving signals from the vehicle that it is running. Within 20 to 40 seconds, the Intoxilock will display waiting for restart. Then, a timer will begin counting down from one, two, or three minutes. The driver will be allowed to restart the vehicle without submitting another breath sample during this countdown. To restart your vehicle once the countdown has expired, follow the same steps to start the vehicle as previously demonstrated. Do not exit your vehicle until you see the waiting for restart sequence to begin. The Intoxilock will only begin this sequence once it recognizes the vehicle is no longer running. If you leave before the waiting for restart sequence begins, the Intoxilock may request another rolling retest. Do not leave your car running when you are not in the vehicle to monitor the system. It is impossible to know when a rolling retest will be requested. If a test is missed, it will be counted as a lockout and will be handled as such. All states require recalibrating and monitoring of the ignition interlock devices at regular intervals to ensure their continued accuracy and to identify tampering. These intervals and procedures vary from state to state. It is very important that you know and understand the recalibration process and dates involved with your recalibration. The next recalibration date will always be displayed on the work orders sent with each recalibrated intoxilock. 
When a recalibration date is approaching, the Intoxiloc will display messages on the LED screen notifying you of the upcoming date. The device will begin a countdown. In most states, the countdown will begin at five days. Two days prior to the recalibration date, the LED display will read Service Immediately. The Intoxiloc will display Service Immediately for two days before displaying Unit Not Serviced in Time. Please refer to your user's manual for the specific number of days your unit will display per your state's requirements. Once this message is received, the vehicle will not be allowed to start until the recalibration is performed. If for any reason your vehicle must be serviced, please call our company prior to any service work being done. It is critical that a customer service representative note your account and speak with any technicians who may be working on your vehicle prior to that appointment. Even if you do the work yourself, call our company prior to any service work being done. If for any reason your vehicle must have the battery disconnected, charged, or jumped, you must call before you begin. A customer service representative will note your account as to the work being done and they will talk you through the correct procedure for protecting the Intoxilock. Any electrical work done to your vehicle could be extremely damaging to the Intoxilock. If the Intoxilock is damaged in any way, the client will be held responsible for its repair or replacement. The replacement value of the Intoxilock is significant. If for any reason you should wish to change the vehicle the Intoxilock is installed in, you must call our company to schedule the appointments and to verify the correct procedures with regard to the regulations in your state. The client will be responsible for all costs associated with the vehicle exchange, including removal from the old vehicle, installation into the new vehicle, and any paperwork processing required by the respective state. Please be advised that any damage that is done to the Intoxilock will be the responsibility of the person who is leasing it. The cost of the repair or replacement will be billed to that person. The replacement value of the Intoxilock is substantial. Because of the electronic nature of the Intoxilock, extremes in temperature conditions may adversely affect the functioning of the device. Please refer to the user's manual for some tips for the care and use of the Intoxilock in hot and cold weather. Please see your user's manual for special instructions specific to your state.